All right, module two, part three. Before we get into the other aspect of just like what we're gonna do with the research, I wanna talk to you guys about something super quick, which is viral content types. There are two main types of videos that go viral on social media and they're very different. There are the educational videos that go viral where you're teaching something some, well, <laughs> we are teaching someone something and they're like, oh my God, that information was so good. Like, I have to say this, I have to keep this, like, I have to like this. Like, it's really valuable information that they find so fascinating that they either like it, they save it, they follow you. And then there's also entertaining viral videos. And these videos go viral because they are purely and simply fun to watch. And a lot of people like to watch them. So since we are business owners, and we want to be taken seriously. We want to provide value to our customers and our clients and attract people like that are our ideal target audience. We are going to be posting educational type videos majority of the time. So when you're going through this research and you're saving videos, that is what I recommend you to save. Especially when it comes to educational content, people will typically retain engagement when they follow you for educational type content. When someone follows you for entertainment purposes, your other posts they probably aren't going to interact with. So I always say be super intentional and post majority educational content. I personally don't post like anything entertaining at all, but I just wanted to make that super clear when you are doing your research, this is preferred. But I will say there are some exceptions. For example, if you're a company who does like home organization, there are very satisfying videos that people like that are like organizing a pantry or folding laundry or cleaning something. And I would say they're like, that is probably one of the main ways to go viral with that specific company. But I'd be like, I'd always say, make sure you're maybe posting those videos, but also some educational videos alongside that. So depending on the industry, you'll see what's really going viral in your niche. But um, I just want you to keep that in mind. But let's move on and talk about what we're gonna do with the research that we just got. Remember when I showed you our template earlier where we entered the niche and subtopics and everything like that? Well, um, that is also where we're gonna be entering all of this data, which I'm gonna show you super quick. So let's start off with entering the Instagram data. So let me just go back to that template that we have right here. So I, I entered in the basic info, um, but I'm just gonna go ahead and go back to the Instagram research tab. And basically what you're gonna do is really quickly, let me pull up my Instagram. I'm just on my profile on my computer. So basically I am going to go to this saved button right here. And you basically just wanna find all the videos that you just saved. And basically you're gonna tap on one. So let me just do that right now. And what I'm gonna do here is just copy this link I'm gonna go back to my research template and I'm gonna paste that link right under this video link like section. And then right now I'm going to write the hook that the video used. So let me just rewatch that. Questions to ask at the end of any job interview to make you unforgettable. Basically, I'm gonna type that in. Questions to ask at the end of any job interview to make you unorgettable. I mean, who wouldn't want to watch that? Let's be real. So that was a really good hook. And now once I have the video link in, the hook in, I'm going to select the type of video. So let's just like here. Okay. So there's two types of videos, mainly on social media. It's going to be someone talking to the camera, kind of like I am now, or if you've seen my Instagram, I do like pretty much all talking form or it's gonna be a B-roll audio and text video. And basically what that is, is like when there's just a random video in the background, there's no talking, there's just an audio that's playing like a song most likely. And then there's just text on the screen that you read. So this video in particular was a talk form video. So I'm just gonna select that. Then you can go ahead and look at the views of the video, the likes and the likes of the video. So I can go ahead, if I just look at this right now, it has 235,494 likes. I always just do like 235.4K. I don't like typing out the whole number is kind of time consuming. So I'm just gonna write that down and then views. The annoying thing about your computer is it's really hard to see video views. So you always wanna like look at that on your phone. So just go to your phone, look at the saved video. And if you tap on the likes on your phone, 
you'll be able to also see the video views. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that. But basically with every video that you saved, the 50 plus videos, you're gonna want to enter in all the information I just did for every single video. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that right now. All right, and when you are done, essentially this is what the template will look like. Once you have all your viral video links in, all the hooks, and basically you've done all like determined what video it was and put out the views and the likes. Now, once the Instagram research section is done, we're gonna go ahead and move on to TikTok. So first we're gonna go ahead and, so if you log into your TikTok account on your computer and you go to the saved video section, you'll be able to find all the viral videos you saved, just like Instagram. I usually, my computer or my phone are connected, so I usually will just like, if I copy the link in my phone, it will paste on my computer, so I usually just do that. But basically, if you're on a computer, you can just copy the URL right up there. And then you're gonna put it in to your document, and you're going to click on that and watch the hook, so you can add that into the sheet. Let's do that really quick. Job offer when you're still waiting to hear back from how to handle a job offer when you're still waiting to hear back from another company how to handle a job offer so write that down how to handle a job offer when you are still waiting to hear back from another company great news we'd love to offer you the job this is a talking forum video. If I go ahead, look at the views and likes, 2.6 million likes. So we're just gonna write that down, 2.6 M. And then for views, again, it's kind of annoying, but like it's so hard to see on computer. So if you go to the saved TikTok videos on your phone, you don't even have to tap on the video it will just say at the bottom left corner of that video, the number of views it got. So basically I am going to do all the TikTok research and I'll come back and talk to you. All right, the completed TikTok research sheet should look a little something like this, um, but basically your completed um, template overall will kind of just look something like this. And yeah, you should be good. So on to the next steps, what do we actually kind of do with this data and how do we use it to create our own viral videos?